sports fans, and welcome to another edition of Scott Sports 101. I'm Scott Trella. Uh, we'll talk uh, Travis Major League Baseball and Browns and NFL football, and possibly a little NBA basketball if we have time. But first, here is today's Scott Sports 101 trivia question. What retired basketball player tried out for the Chicago White Sox in 1994? I will have the answer later on the broadcast. Well, after shutting out the Baltimore Orioles 8 to nothing yesterday at Progressive Field, the Tribe traveled to Boston to take on the Boston Red, Red Sox at uh, Fenway Park in Beamtown. And the Tribe beat the Red Sox 5-4. Uh, to four. Uh, Corey Gruber was on the mound for the good guys tonight. Gruber went six innings and gave up Nine hits and three earned runs, striking out six batters. Then the bullpen went to work, and it wasn't easy, but they got the job done. Cody Allen came on in the ninth, and he gave up two hits and one run, but he was able to hold off the Red Sox and get the save uh, for the, and the win for the Tribe. Now, uh, Bauer still is, is, is injured. He still is on the young. Uh, he... Uh, he did really hurt himself bad. It's, it's, it's a right fibula, and he's going to be out four to six weeks, but I still feel, and I think a lot of fans agree, that he will be good to go for the postseason. So uh, hopefully he will, and we will just have to wait and see what happens. Hopefully he will be good to go. Um, the tribe will be back in action tomorrow night as they will try to make it three in a row as they will take on the Red Sox at Fenway Park in Boston. Shane Bieber on the mound for the good guys with a record of 6-2. and two. And Nathan Eovaldi on the mound for the Red Sox with a record of 5-4. and four. First pitch at 7-10. Um, and I really feel that the, the bats are really starting to come alive for the Tribe. And I also feel that uh, that the pitching is really improving. And I really do. And uh, uh, and uh, Brad Hand came on in the eighth. Uh, Oliver uh, um, Averis came on in the eighth. And Adam Simber also came on in the eighth as well. And I really uh, feel that the pitching is really starting to improve for the Tribe. And, and as we know, this team is going to the playoffs no matter what. And we do hope they make it back to the uh, uh, ALCS and the World Series. We... And we will have to wait and see on that. And I just, I really feel that uh, this was this was a really good game tonight. Even though it was a nail biter, it was a really good game tonight between the Tribe and the uh, White Sox. Um, the Browns had practice today, as they are getting ready for preseason game number three this Thursday, as they will take on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Philadelphia Eagles at home at First Energy Stadium. Hugh Jackson has reiterated Baker Mayfield won't get first-team refs in the preseason. Jackson said, no, 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 no. He said, everybody has asked that question a ton of times. Why? Well, I'm going to explain it to you right now. The reason why. Uh, we are learning, And he said, we are learning a new system. And this is all true. And I think Tyrod Taylor needs every rep that he can get with the ones. And I agree with that wholeheartedly, and I really do. I agree. Um, Tyrod Taylor does need to have every rep, every rep that he can get with the ones. Because as we know, Tyrod Taylor is going to be the Browns' starting quarterback this upcoming season. Uh and he says, I think Baker Mayfield's doing an outstanding job with the twos. If something happens and we need to put him in there, we will. Uh, we will. Uh, right now, that hasn't happened. And following Mayfield's encouraging uh, debut against the Giants in the preseason opener, it seemed as though Jackson might give him some work with the starters, if only to prepare him for a possible injury to Tyrod Taylor. And uh, Austin Corbett really shuffled around at uh, uh, practice today. He caught some great passes, had some good hits, and 
even Miles Garrett as well. And and uh, and I do feel that if Miles Garrett can stay healthy, as I've said before, he could have a breakout year. And uh, I just feel Baker Mayfield, he, they need to develop him. He needs to learn with the twos. He needs to learn from Tyrod Taylor and from the ones and from the other quarterbacks, the quarterback coach and also head coach Hugh Jackson. Now, and I know, I think, I feel myself that Baker Mayfield is doing an outstanding job. And I do feel that he may not get a start earlier midway through the season, but I think late in the, in the season, he could possibly get a start, but we will see. <clears throat> and you can catch all the game action. And uh, kickoff is at uh, 8 p.m., And uh, as I meant to say, first of all. And you can catch all the game action on Fox on Thursday. And I also feel that uh, Jarvis Landry has some really – is really coming alive at training camp, and he still thinks that the Browns are playoff ready. And I'm going to believe that when I see it, because we've not done that since 2002. And as I've said before, I'd like to see them go 6-10. and 10. That would be an improvement from last season. I know that's asking a lot, <coughs> but we will have to see. But I do feel this Browns team is a, is a lot better by far compared to the team last season. So uh, we will have to see what happens when the regular season begins on S- Sunday, September 9th, when the preseason after the preseason has ended. And they will be taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers at Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. And I do feel we need to win the season opener and end our skid of opening day losses. And I also feel that we that the Browns need to win the home opener as well. Because I feel that's going to set the tone for the regular season. And hopefully I feel that the Browns are going to win uh, uh, several games. And I'd li- as I said, I'd like to see them go 6-10. and 10. That would be an improvement. But we'll have to wait and see when the regular season, game- season begins on Sunday, September 9th. Now, uh, I really feel that, that I feel that... Uh, the Browns are really up and coming, and they need they are starting to gel. And this preseason and training camp and practices are going to say it all of how this regular season is going to go and how to, to go and how it is going to unfold. Now, I really feel there's other NFL teams out there that have preseason games this week. And Thursday and on Friday. And now the Browns are right now – uh, four, I think third or fourth in the AFC North, and and I do feel that we do not want to be in last place again this season. And uh, we'll get back to um, talking about this in just a sec. More uh, try baseball and Major League Baseball and rounds of NFL football in just a second. But it is now time for the answer to today's. <clears throat> Scott Sports 101 trivia question. What retired basketball player tried out for the Chicago White Sox in 1994? If you said Michael Jordan, that is correct. When Michael Jordan retired from the Bulls in 94, Michael Jordan signed a minor league contract with the Chicago White Sox in 1994 and was assigned to their team's minor league system. That summer, he batted 202 with the Birmingham Barons, a Class AA affiliate of the White Sox. Later in the year, he batted 252 with the Scottsdale Scorpions in the Arizona Fall League. And I'll have another trivia question on my next broadcast, so stay tuned for that. Now, getting back to uh, the Tribe and and uh, Major League Baseball. Uh, a lot. There's several other Major League Baseball teams who are playoff contenders, besides the uh, Tribe, and the Tribe is still in first place, and I think nine games ahead of I think nine. It's something like that, and or at least nine games ahead of Minnesota in the AL Central. Check me if I'm wrong. Uh, and we know that the uh, Red Sox and the Yankees we know will be in the playoffs no matter what in the um, American League. And there's also several uh, uh, 
and all teams that will be in the playoffs and that we know of as well. Now, I know the, tri- the Yankees have always given a Tribe a hard way to go in the playoffs. And and I really think I really think that we are going to go far in the playoffs. But we'll see. Because I would like to see us get back to the ALCS and win and be back in the World Series and possibly win the World Series as well, but it's too far it's way too far ahead to tell to predict that right now. So I'm going to hold off on a prediction. If we will win the World Series, I'm going to hold off on a prediction on that. But I will have that come the postseason. And now we're almost uh, getting back to uh, the Browns and uh, preseason game number three against the Super Bowl champion uh, Philadelphia Eagles. And the Browns know what they have to do. And this game is going to be a big game, and it's going to be a test. Because this game, is, I feel, is going to be close. And I feel it's going to come down to the wire. And I'm going to say that this game is going to be close. When the Browns, this is going to be an upset. And I don't know. It's going to be a close one. And I said it's going to be an upset. I'm going to say it's possibly going to be an upset. But the Eagles are the defending Super Bowl champions. But it's on the Browns' turf at First Energy Stadium, so I am going to say the Browns are going to win by a field goal, 24-21, to and keep in mind, these games don't mean anything, so I really feel, so I feel, that is my prediction, that the Browns are going to win by a field goal, 24-21, to and uh, I, if I'm right, I'm right, but if my prediction is wrong, I'm not upset. I will not be upset because these games don't mean anything. It's only preseason. Well, that is going to wrap it up for this edition of Scott Sports 101. Always remember, be a team player each and every day in every way possible. Song, everybody. Three, two, one. I'm done.